do shrimp pasta using the Pampered Chef's Deep Covered Baker. I'm going to start off with 8 ounces of spaghetti. Okay, you just want to break the spaghetti in half. And I'm going to add enough chicken broth just to cover the spaghetti. You want to use a couple of cups. Make sure it's covered well. I'm going to microwave this for 16 minutes covered. And I'm going to stir it halfway. Okay, it's been 8 minutes and I just want to check it. definitely doing good. It's not sticking together. I'm going to go ahead and put it in for another eight minutes. I might have put too much stock in it. This is the first time I've used it, but we'll see. Okay, I let it go for another six minutes, and I wanted to check it, and I also want to go ahead and be able to add the other ingredients. Okay, that looks great. I was a little worried I had too much stock. But I think that's going to be just perfect. Okay, I'm going to add a half a stick of butter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, garlic. Okay, I'm just using the squeezed garlic. I always add Old Bay seasoning pretty much any time I cook seafood. So I'm going to add a little Old Bay seasoning. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt, only because there's salt in the chicken stock. And I have extra large shrimp that's still frozen. It's already been deveined. It's about a half a pound. I'm going to go ahead and add a little extra stock because I need time to cook the shrimp. I'm going to cook it for another four to five minutes and I don't want it to dry out. I'd rather have a little extra sauce than be dry. Like I said, I'm going to cover it and then put it back in for about four to five minutes. The shrimp have a couple more minutes to go. So far, it looks really good. Definitely has enough sauce. Like I said, I could have probably went a little easier with it, but uh, first time, I just wanted to make sure it didn't dry out. But also, after you cook it, you need to let it sit with a lid on it for about five minutes and it will absorb some of the sauce, so it may turn out okay after all. But the shrimp definitely needs a few more minutes. Okay, I added two more minutes to the time, and the shrimp looked like they're cooked perfectly. I'm just going to double check. Since they're extra large, they will take longer. They look like they're all perfectly cooked. I'm going to place the lid on them and let it sit for about five minutes, but first I'm going to add one more tablespoon of butter. Any type of broth-based sauce, I like to add butter. To the end and I'll just let that sit with the lid on it. Okay, let it sit for five minutes and uh, as you can tell the pasta and the shrimp are cooked perfectly and um, I'm very impressed. It's the first time I've used this pan and there you have it. Thanks a lot.